Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode here on Escape from Tarkov. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy recently in terms of the new release of the new edition of Tarkov, the Unheard Edition. Um, so we're going to run through essentially what, what it kind of gives us, and we're going to buy it here on this little video and see what it does to our game, um, kind of what it adds, I suppose, supposedly. Um, I've had the game pretty much from the start um, of pretty much this game coming out and being released, really. Um, over the time, I've brought the standard edition, worked my way up to the Edge of Darkness edition, and now probably going to look to buy this one to see what this actually provides. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of people who are very upset in the terms of the price. The price is quite a heavy, um, um, you know, the things that it actually provides within that price. People are saying it's sort of, you know, paid a, for advantage, essentially. Um, but we're going to buy it, see what it gives, whether it's actually worth it or whatnot. And um, yeah, just go for this. So let's, let's have a look at my, my in-game right now. So I'm obviously, I play this game quite a bit, especially in this this release, this latest patch. I've really played the game, uh, really got into it. Level 38, still it's not the best. Um, but yeah, I've really got into it. As you probably noticed, my YouTube channel, that's all I pretty much record at the moment. Um, um, compared to my old strategy games and whatnot. But yeah, I've been really getting into it. So... Let's have a look at my hideout. I've been working my hideout a lot as well. But so I think one of the things that will be coming out on the Unheard Edition, one of the things that evolve is uh, persistent progression. So you, I think essentially, I think all this does get wiped, but I think you keep, um, so if we go to my character, I'm pretty sure it keeps your stats and stuff. I'm not too sure. Um, I'll probably have to look at that. We'll have a look at that in a minute when we get on the actual wiki page. Um, so you can see here we've got some pockets. I think that's a new thing they add. Um, we'll have a quick rundown from my stash here. Maybe some more things get added. When I get purchases, uh, got myself a nice little fit case here with my guns, looking pretty good. My gear down here, it's kind of how I look. So, one thing to be pretty interesting is having persistent, you know, stats. I think that's quite cool. I think there's a lot of it which is really decent, but for the price, it's quite a heavy price. I'm not going to lie. If you're brand new to a game, 250 quid is quite a lot of money, but I guess it gives people time. I've had this game for quite a while. Um, so, I've worked my way up to the Edge of Darkness, and then now I can look to probably go into the next one. So, let's go on the website and have a look and see what this actually provides. All right, here we go. So the unheard edition. So let's see what it gives us uh, when we purchase. So it guarantees in access to instant access to closed beta, which I think it comes all of anyway. Digital copy preload. Yeah, we have that access to PVE cop mode with persistent progression. Progression will not be reset with wipes. I think this is a thing that's really upsetting people. Is like this is is this DLC that should have come with the Edge of Darkness? Is it? But they're saying it's a game feature. I, I don't know, I'm on the fence of it in terms of, you know, game feature whatnot. I feel like this should be, you know, a thing that everyone should really sort of have. But I'm, hey, it's not my game at the end of the day. I'm just playing it. Um, hopefully, it's just, there is DLC in the future, hopefully, that I get with my, my Edge, of, Edge of Darkness. Enhanced stash, yeah, nice. Unique game ID is going to be blue, which can be cool. Expanded PMC pockets, which is another interesting thing, um, which no one else will have unless they have this package, which I think... I think that's a little bit cheeky. Um, that's actually 100% an advantage there in some sense, as well as this. Um, increased fence standing. I guess that'd be useful. More slots on the flea market. That's good use as well. I, think, I like that, including the price. That's pretty cool. Unique in-game melee weapon, which I think is more like, it looks like a kick through, which is like a Gurkha's knife. Uh, increased mail retention time. So I think that's the time you get stuff back. Uh, additional background screen option. That's pretty cool. Free access to all subsequent DLC season pass, which also came with the instant, uh, well, Edge of Darkness, I think, believe as well. Access to early test server. Uh, I'm not too sure what that's going to be, but we'll see what that is as well. Uh, for bear characters, the stuff you get, which is cool weapon case. You get some really good stuff here. Uh, USEC stuff. So I like that we have a weapon case as well. I really do like that. That's a really nice touch. Um, it's quite expensive in game. Like it's got ammunition case as well. So you we do start off with some good stuff. Having this, you will start off with a lot more better stuff, you know, which I think is, is pretty interesting. Uh, also available, increased starting level for character, which is also nice. Uh, giving you an advantage over people on, on the starting of the game. Access to co-op practice mode, which comes anyway. Um, unique in-game armband, nice. Unique radio electronic item mark of the unheard. I've heard this is a bit one that's frustrating people as well. Item is equipped in the special slot. I haven't gives a 50% discount when using cash services and raids. That's with the BTR and stuff like that. Um, which is fair enough. Insured equipment returns 30% faster. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. With 6 plus fence reputation, scabs won't shoot first at range over 60 metres away. Which is quite an interesting feat, actually, to be fair. But 
60 meters in game is quite close, you fair, you know, you want to see it, it's a bit cheeky. Um, but we still need six plus fence reputation, which is still quite a lot of reputation to build up to, you know, it's not like you can get it straight away. So you still need to work a little bit to get that, that fence reputation. Uh, will be available in future updates. Ability to build a, a unique zone in a hideout. It's cool. Unique item distressing or device. When items are activated, it produces a bright flash as well as a loud sound signal. Once activated, all players on your friends list will be receive a notification that they can join your raid to help you. No way. So we actually can join your raid. That's pretty interesting. Um, so as you can see, Edge of Darkness Limited Edition, which I already have. Here, as you can see. Um... To the unheard edition only cost me 47.50 euros i think there's a little bit more add on that tax and whatnot i think it brings about 50 pounds we'll see um so like i have said i have purchased packs throughout the years so i started off with standard tried the game out i liked it enjoyed it i think i went way up to left behind or went straight to to prepare for escape then after another year or two or whatever i purchased the edge of darkness edition which you can't actually get now i don't think and now Another year, a couple of years down the line, and now I'm getting the Unheard Edition. So, it's going to be interesting. Let's, we'll purchase it. We'll upgrade. Let's just click here. Attention equipment differences will be sent to your profile via in-game mail. Please re-enter the game by pressing confirm. You can certify you over easy. Yes, of course. Let's confirm this. Let's go. Let's see what this actually does to the game straight away whilst we're thing. Um, let's have a look. Save and close. Yeah, whatever. So, it's going to cost me total 63 euros. Uh, five years on. I'm going to buy this and then we'll go back into game. Right, payment successful. Um, let's go back to the game. Let's go to my profile now. There we go. Unheard edition. There we go. Nice. Let's uh, let's jump in the game and let's see what it's actually got us. Whoa. Here we go. Different background. Nice and blue. Wow. Some people spent £53 for this. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth the money. Um, I do like this game a lot, so in my sense, if it's getting me persistent, you know. Uh, here we go. We should get the stuff through here. Uh, your game pack has been upgraded. Whoa. God damn. Some nice looking weapons. This is here. It's the M48 uh, Kikuri. Here we go. Nice. And the Unheard. Let's... Uh, Receivable. Nice. So let's put my little weapon box down here, shall we? Let's put these these nice weapons as well. Nice SR25. A nice Mark 16. Wow. That's pretty epic, I'm gonna lie. Like it's got a mix. It's pretty cool. I'll have a look at those in a second, a bit more more briefly, more in depth. Um let's uh Let's put my ammunition box down here. Let's give myself this armband because you know I wrote it on the edition. Gotta to, gotta to show off that armband. Okay, let's go down here. It would be nice if like 250 250 is a lot of money, right? I think you should maybe I don't know, involve some more of those skins that you get would be nice. Nice little touch. Another junk box. Jeez. Proper professional taco player now. I've got some more spaces down the bottom as well, which is good. Let's move this across. All these magazines and the unheard. I wonder if this actually works at the moment. I'm sure it does, so we'll have that in place as well. Got some money as well. Nice, thank you. Put that there. We'll put this as our our knife, and we'll go in game in a second, have a look and see what this is actually like. Uh, let's just sort the magazines out a little bit. Got the NATO mags, SMG magazines. We've got that PVE mode. We can test it out. We may as well test it all out, actually. Uh, I'll put our body armor down here. Yeah. Anything these body armors? No. Um, let's just take uh, this weapon system. Put this gear here. This is actually for... I think you guys have been watching my weapon reviews. Um, it's for those at the moment. Just put this stuff in there. What we got? Let's put all these airframes on. I'll do. I'll do. Um, let's take out. Uh, that's a nice MP seven A one as well. I like uh, so every time the game resets, now we'll get should get these as well, which is going to be pretty cool. 
which is an extreme advantage, especially at the beginning of the game. Getting a Mark 16 and a SR25 and MP7 at the beginning of the game is going to be pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Not backpack, as you can see. So, what does this give me? So, I've got it on the screen here. What, anything new? Cool little symbol. Commander Green, love that. To be fair, I seen a guy killed me yesterday and he said I paid 250. Yeah. I suck. I paid 250, something like that. It's quite funny, actually. Pretty good name. Um, I wonder anything else about that. So, this should all be persistent now, considering that factor of that it says the website. Uh, so switch to PVE zone. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so what does this actually do? Oh, escape from to choose your faction. Okay, we'll go USEC. Well, this is new. Is this like a completely separate game? to the actual multiplayer. Okay, we got bears. Now we got a son of a it seems like it is a completely new game. You better worry about bears. That's a pretty cool voice. Let's go for Grant, no, Taylor, Blackburn. One looks weird. How'd someone do? Nah, we'll go for Blackburn. Yeah, he's pretty badass. Right, so go next. So, is this a completely different menu? Stash and everything. Welcome to the PvE zone game mode. In this mode, you can experience the full game with persistent PvE character progression, solo or with friends, without worrying about being attacked by other players in a raid. All mechanics are identical to the PvP zone game mode. Good luck. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I thought you just slept the PVE zone, went in there, and then I am. This is completely different from what I thought this was, if I'm honest with you. Um, so this is completely separate. That's weird. I don't know if I like that, you know. I feel like it's just two separate games now. So I didn't. Wow. I just wish a bit more research behind this, but I'm not too sure about this, you know? Like, you got like. What, what, do you, what do you play on now? I guess it's the single player mode, isn't it? But then none of this is. I can use it in my other stash, which is really weird. I don't know if I like this at all. Let's go to the traders and have a look. We've got the flea markets, I'm guessing, is still. Is this a separate flea market? So the normal flea market? If I go to special equipment, it looks like there's not as much on here. Yeah, this is a separate flea market. This is a PVE flea market. Weird. I don't know. Maybe I would have maybe had like a game mode where you can, I don't think that would be completely unfair. People can both in the PVP world, but just go into, I thought it was just, you could still, be connected to your one stash, but you actually have two stashes now. Strange. Strange. This does actually help me if making videos for guns and stuff in the future, which is good. Um, but it's completely separate. Let's put this M4 down. You still die. You still, like, lose, you know, like in the game, like you would do if you die, you lose your gear. Um, we'll do a raid in PvE and have a look and see what this, this actually does for us. Um, let's get rid of some of this shite. I have to sell a lot of this crap in a bit. Let's get rid of this in here. Water, yeah, mate. 5-5, five, five, nice. Got any helmets? Probably don't have any helmets. But then, uh, I don't know, like, how much time are you going to spend on this in comparison to the actual PvP? Well, I don't really understand in some sense of that, that being, like, it's literally... The exact same as PvP, other than you don't lose it, you you wipe. <sighs> Strange. Um, 
I thought this was connected to PvP, and PvP was where you, you keep your stats, but it's not. It's like has, you have a whole separate game mode, um, a whole new like account essentially. I should have done a bit more research to before I purchased it. <laughs> Been fifty four pound that. Oh well, it's done now, isn't it? Um, let's put this. Nice little gamma boxer, which is nice. I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't see myself using this this much, other than just playing with friends every now and then. If they do buy it, which I doubt they will. Um, we'll give us a test though. I guess it, I guess it gives it fun. Um, it means you have this account that you can always just work towards. Like when you're bored, you don't want to go online, you can just go on PVE, and then you can just work up your stash. <sighs> Because there is that element of it breaks the game up now. That the one the thing is playing that PvP mode was you want to build your stash, you want to have the best gear, but you also knew that it was worth more because it was valued more. Because in each raid you were up against players. Whereas I know I'm in this one, I know I'm never gonna go against against players unless they're on my team. Um it kind of loses its value a little bit. So I guess in some sense it's kind of hard to explain. Some people don't really understand that concept in that when you're up against players, it makes it worth more than the stuff you've got, the stuff you've earned. Um, what do I want? We'll just go to the Mark Six here. Any traders unlocked? Ragman. We have to do all the all the tasks again. As we do. Let's go with this. Uh, yeah, let's go. So we go to PMC, Ground Zero. We can go any map we want as well. There are no Ground Zero. How weird is going to be? Going on this map with um no players. I think they are like PMCs and stuff, um, but they are AI. What map should we go? Ground Zero is quite an interesting one that I normally, I normally do. Um, because you have to be level 1 to 20. I've not done that in a while. Yeah, we'll go ground zero. Now nah, we'll go reserve. Okay, let's see what actually spawns in reserve. In practice mode, you can do that still. It's the shortest stuff, because why not? All right, let's get in and have a look, shall we? It's going to be interesting. Load into a PvE game. Uh, quite interesting, to say the least. Still waiting session to start. Here we go. Bit interesting. I guess it's because of the server issues, I'm guessing. I'm assuming a lot of people are probably purchasing this and trying this out. Um, so, but still, quite interesting to say the least. Okay, what we got here? Nice little site, that, not it? Right, so we got to take in consideration now um, Raiders is going to be a big one. Uh, well, essentially, the, the PMCs are essentially Raiders now. AI Raiders. So we're now in a game. Totally all alone. Never to worry about players ever again, really. <laughs> Which, I do like this. This factor now. It's, it's will allow you to get a lot better at the game, but also progress. And then when I feel up for it, I'm feeling good. I can go on PvP. I do like this factor. I do like it, but I don't believe it should be... Um, you pay for this. I feel that this should be part of the, the game already. Um, yeah, now, now I know exactly what this game mode is. I feel like this should be shouldn't really be paid for because I don't think there's even any advantage to this whatsoever. Really, other than just got a separate game mode you can just enjoy yourself now. So I don't think this is an advantage at all in any sense, really. Uh, people will be making it out to be um, other than just a lot of money to be able to play on your own, really. Um, I I don't think it's a bad thing that Battlestate has done this in all sense, um, in my opinion anyway. Um, players like myself who really really enjoy the game, who want to have that other game mode to progress and stuff like that, why not spend a bit more money? Um, but I don't see the advantage, really. Um, I have to try it out PvP wise, but I have to try... there is obviously definitely some advantages. I'm not. I'm not there. Is that a player? Is that... Player. It's not to worry about players anymore, do we? Is that 
raiders. Shoot, they shoot the, uh, well, PvPs are like raiders, apparently. They shoot scavs and essentially like another faction, essentially. Then that's what I would do. Nice, nice weapon system. This. I didn't bring any medical. What a dick. Any more? <clears throat> really nice weapon, though. I like this. Really, really good. So they actually have what's called tags as well. That's a nice little touch. Let's get find myself some uh, body armor. Oh, uh, medical. There we go. That's a nice touch. You get to collect the bear. Kill by commander green. Level 18. Actually leveled up. That's just. It just seems really weird. Like, I'm playing against what's called PMCs who have been generated. Um, but they're not PMCs. It's so weird. It's so weird. So I took them right to the face, I'm sure. So they're all got PNC tags. So why do they pick up your gear? What if that's a thing now? Wonder. Scab this one. So, what loot's like on this PVE game mode? I do like this though, this is nice. Yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, I'm not too sure about it, so I feel like I just brought a single game mode, I feel like I'm caught, you know? Um, like I said, it doesn't have as much weight behind it and value. What's that we got already? Boom, military circuit board. Easy. Let's go upstairs. Let's finger build them. Like, I think the loot's going to be a lot easier. Unless the PMCs collect it. I don't know. Throw it away straight in. Three PMC kills. Got up here. The extraction location's still the same. Bit. I guess I could have done something a little bit different for this PvE mode, maybe. I don't know. For the single player game mode, they could have done something a little bit, a little bit different. They're just copy and paste it, just saying, yeah, this is exact same game. Only difference is you keep your, your gear and everything. So now it's just like, what do I do? What do I play? Do I play PvP? 
Do I play PvE? I don't know what to do. So I press pre PvE all the way, and then, then when I'm bored, do I play a bit of PvE? I don't know. Do I do it the other way around? Do I play PvP, and when I'm bored, play PvE? I'd probably be that, to be fair. Ah. Can't put grenades in there, can you? Graphics card. No, it's a VPX. Massive fan of GPU in the very first raid on PVE. What's that down there? Let's try these computers. So there's the unheard thing. Which is actually a PRR in real life. Um, <clears throat> PRR radios used at the British Army. They're fucking shit. Um, yeah, not a very great bit of kit. So it makes sense why it's in Targon. Oh, dude, you need to chill out. I got to take the foot. Jesus Christ. 15 rounds to the foot. Alright, let's get out of the map. See, that's all the same. Uh, where can we extract from? Go to bunker, sewer manhole. No, I can't leave there because of my gear. Let's go D two. See if they uh, see if they script in the uh, rats extract campers. That'd be quite. Imagine that. That'd be fucking hilarious. No stank rat. Shots, that means they're still AI PMCs. They weren't, they literally just, all they essentially do, they just act like uh, normal PMCs in the game, really. So I guess obviously they're worth more XP than the than PMCs, they're more geared. I guess it's could they have random gear? These are all questions I want to know. Because that'd be pretty cool. They just complete they do have they do have better gear, but they just essentially just raider gear. Like this the loadout they had was pretty much exactly the same what you normally find on a normal raider, in all honesty. Um you only find on the reserve map anyway. Let's go. Oh, we this. Let's go this way. Let's, uh, let's continue actually for a little longer. We'll go, go D2. So, interesting. Interesting to say the least. Um, let's have a look so we can see from up here. So I like it. I like the game mode, it being that you have this persistent, you know, gear and everything. Now I do like that. Um, so you don't ever have to worry about this. This is always going to be, you always have always gear, which is, it's going to be fun. But I don't know the fact it has no connection whatsoever to the PvP mode. There must be something that correlates to the PvP, which is the main part of the game, really. It's the whole point of it. Um, let's do some of this, some this shall we? Yeah, you like. 
to do that. Has to be done. Right, so let's see if there's any extract campers in D2. You never know. Stank rats or campers in there? Nope. Let's get out of it and see how I think how I think it works in terms of extract leaving the stuff. Tons of XP and killing the those PMCs and scab. So, one if I can keep this like hundred <clears throat> percent raids. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? I? I could do that. China, yeah, buddy. Well, that's bugger. There's no noise there. Clearly, there's some still some issues with this. Crazy, a little bit of lag as well. New achievement. There we go. First achievement as our PVE account. Cool. All right, three thousand XP. First raid. Forty minutes. Got three bear kills. All little random mixed names. Strange. Level two already. Easy. Really strange. I'm on the fence, mixed mixed opinions of it, really. I guess it kind of takes away, you know, what, when do I play the PvP? You know, when I do play PvE, it's the exact same as my PvP account. So I'm, it looks like I'm now playing two accounts at once, like trying to level both of them up. Um, or do I just never play PV, PvP again? Because why, why should I? I can just play PvE now, never play PvP again, because I've got everything I need to. Know? Only difference is players, really. Um, it's quite, quite interesting. I feel on point... I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel as if I'm probably gonna spend a lot more time on this, on PVE, more than anything now. Because one thing I like about the game, I do come across PVP PV players a lot, which is quite quite satisfying when you kill them and whatnot. But I do enjoy the game on its own, really, like working, PVP, or going for the quests and building up my loot. So having that ability to do that now, without ever having to worry, this is ever gonna go. Is a nice touch. I like it a lot. Um, I like that. But uh, I guess for me now, I will only really play the PvP game mode just for if I feel like having a little fight with someone. You know, I think like this count now is going to be what I'm going to use for Tarkov, unless, like I said, I feel like going on and just, you know, messing someone's day up on <laughs> Tarkov like you always do, like a scab, and just have some fun that way. So, interesting, to say the least. Very interesting. Um, I've got my wooden infantry. This is stuff I brought. brought this outfit um, on the market, on the actual website. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the brand new um, brand new game mode, brand new pack. Uh, that kind of shows what you get in, in the game mode. Um, so, yeah, cool. I hope you enjoyed that. It's quite a bit of an eye-opener for some of you. Maybe you want to buy this. And whatnot, but yeah, cool. See you next one.